Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. That's what we do here. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. These things happen, but I appreciate you all watching the channel, checking out our top ranked videos on how to buy a used Tesla, what to do if you wanna buy I-bonds, and much, much more. So much content in here, why? Because we know how to help people get wealthy. We know how to help you be able to get rich personally, professionally, financially. As always, click the subscribe button as this is your first time watching the channel. Make sure you click that notifications bell, that way you'll get all of the great content in your inbox and check out everything else that we have in this channel from how to start a business to what to do with credit cards and so much more. Today, I wanted to talk to you about four things that you should do financially on your work anniversary. And where does it all start? It starts with the pay raise because when you get a promotion, it's generally gonna mean more responsibility. So if your salary jumps by $10,000 or even $50,000, this is gonna mean a significant bump in your cash flow for your family. What you should be doing with this money, who knows? Well, is it best to add to your 401k? Should you start paying down your mortgage? Or is it time to purchase that new vacation home? We know so many people are doing that today. With pay raises and bonuses, people often don't deploy the important rule of thirds. This is Ted's rule of thirds. And what that means is that at least a third of the raises and bonuses that you get should be captured immediately with some form of forced savings. This should be priority number one. So after that, what you've got to think about is tax planning. Because after all the excitement subsides from the new title or even the new corner office that they gave you, you know, the office, you should begin to ask yourself if a new tax planning strategy should be affected for your family finances. Do you now fall into a new tax bracket with additional income? Is it time for you to readjust your withholdings for each paycheck so you don't get stung during the tax season because that can happen if you don't do that? Did you trigger additional Medicare tax or other types of taxes, even paying more Social Security? Will this change your itemized deductions and your personal exemptions? Will they phase out at all? I mean, all these things are things you just need to consider in general so you have appropriate tax mitigation strategies. But the big thing here are your withholdings. You've got to look at that because if you went into a higher tax bracket, you've got to make sure you do it right. Now, this may also be a time at a work anniversary where you get additional stock or restricted stock type options. And if you're eligible for those, it's really important to see how they play into your future. Those could be non-qualified stock options, uh, incentive stock options, or even restricted stock. And you may have to decide how they fit financially into your overall picture, i.e., should you be paying taxes on that stock now, when's gonna be the right time to exercise the stock, but it should come under a lot of scrutiny I'm always baffled, you know, when I look at this at people's work anniversaries, that they get stock and then it sits in one of these E-Trade or TD Ameritrade accounts. They never look at it before. They never talk to a qualified professional. And then they generally sell that stock at exactly the wrong time as opposed to putting a disciplined strategy into place to grow your overall financial success. So you've got to make decisions like, should you cash in right away? Should you sell every year and get rid of that money? Should you use limit orders on that stock? I mean, you may even have a deferred compensation plan that you're eligible now because you got a certain pay raise and that went up by a certain amount. Some executives have that. And then the fourth thing on your work anniversary, if none of these things panned out, is to ask yourself, should you go negotiate your pay raise? With inflation soaring right now and heading close to 10%, if you got a 4% pay raise adjustment, guess what? You actually went safely backwards against inflation when it comes to the actual money coming into your family finances. Now, for all of you that are watching this What Ted Says video, I would never ever settle for anything less than at least an inflation adjustment raise. That's going to be important uh, because if you don't get that, where are you gonna be financially? Likely to be behind than you were the year before. Take these four tips on your work anniversary. Maybe your boss will treat you to a free lunch and you too will figure out how to get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. And that's this episode of What Ted Says. As always, click the subscribe button. Make sure that you jump over and watch my video on I-bonds, really important right now for your overall financial future. Thanks for watching us today.